I know I haven't made a review in a long time, but I honestly just wanted a break from YouTube. Like, I was getting so burnt out out of uploading, but yeah, I'm back. And I saw Kyle O'Reilly got uh, to AW. Sorry about that. I don't know why it zoomed there. But yeah, but let's talk about that because that's that's at the kickoff of the freaking dynamite. Sorry about that. I'm a little bit tired. So yeah, we got Adam Cole versus Orange Cassidy kicking off the show. Honestly, by the way, banger match, banger match. Like both, both men were fighting like if their career was on the line. And. It was a really good match, even though the elites of the best friends interfered, interfered, and then, like, there was a lot of good spots, though. If I get Orange Cassidy splashed on Brandon. Yeah. And then Bobby Fish came out of nowhere, and, and then, like, he distracted Orange Cassidy until, um, the cameraman pretty much zoomed in on Orange Cassidy. And Kyle O'Reilly appeared and then attacked Orange Cassidy and then attacked his leg and then Adam Cole hit a last shot to Orange Cassidy for the win. And then Red Dragon and Adam Cole started to attack the rest of the best friends after the best friends tried to um, save Cassidy. So yeah, and then... Trent got hit with the up and down, and then that was it for the segment. And then the Young Bucks got confused because Red Dragon and the Young Bucks hated each other in Ring of Honor. But they got confused because, like, apparently, because Adam Cole apparently brought Kyle Riley to the Young Bucks as a gift. And then it appears that the Young Bucks were pretty confused, and they didn't like it. They looked like they didn't like him, which probably they didn't, because they hate Red Dragon. But yeah. We're gonna have a freaking um, promo between Hangman and Brian Danielson, and Hangman was talking about how much, like, he went 60 minutes through with Daniel Bryan, with Brian Danielson. And then Brian Danielson came out, and then he changed his little stipulation because they're going to face each other in two weeks. The first show on CBS. And there's going to be judges on ringside critiquing the match between Hangman and Daniel Bryan just in case if they go through the 60 minute time limit again, which probably they will. And then Hangman did a B plus player reference. And then... Yeah, that was it. Hey, man, accept it, and then there's going to be judges everywhere. We do not know who those judges are. So, yeah, we'll stay tuned and see. Yeah. And then we got a Pinnacle segment. Where the Pinnacle were discussing how, like, they were getting, how pretty much they were rants venting because they got attacked by Sting, Darby, and CM Punk. And then MJF confronted Wardlow for not coming out there to help him last week and last week I saw that Wardlow was teasing splitting from MJF yeah I really hope he does because I really do rather see Wardlow do his own thing so yeah Wardlow doing his own thing on a singles run I, I would actually be excited for that but alright we got Wardlow in action, he beat up Sean Dane, like, that was it, pretty much, and then we got the America's Top Team doing a promo about the TNT Championship, and Dan Lambert talked about if, which one, either Scorpio Sky or Ethan Page, who, who would challenge against Sammy Guevara's TNT Championship after Sammy versus Cody is done, which is this Friday. On Rampage this Friday. But yeah. What else is new? 
Oh yeah, I will have to snooze too, can't do that. And then there was a Owen Hart tournament. They announced it, and I'm actually excited for it. They're, they're honoring Owen Hart's legacy. I like that, and they made a promo package about it. Really heartwarming. But yeah. Now we got Ruby Soho versus Nyla Rose. Not gonna lie, it, it was a really great match, even though with Vicky's interferences, it was great. It was an awesome, but it was great. And it came out with Ruby Soho on top with uh, freaking the right kick. I'm going to call it the right kick off the top rope. Like pretty much. Yeah, not on the top turnbuckle. And then Ruby Soho did her freaking right kick from the top rope. And Nyla got knocked out. And Ruby Soho with the one, two, three. So yeah, that's good. I like that. And then the next match, we got Malachi Black versus Griff Garrison from the Varsity Blondes. Yeah, who really thought Griff Garrison was going to win? Who the fuck thought that? I really want to know who thought Griff Garrison would win. But either way. Malachi Black pretty much dismantled Griff Garrison. And pretty much made him tap out with a single leg Boston Crab or a Tequila Sunrise. I was really confused. But yeah. And then after the match, he hit Brian Pillman Jr. with a... My black Mass. <laughs> Man, I'd be forgetting freaking the finisher names. I keep forgetting those finisher names, bro. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. But yeah. That's, that's good. But honestly, what the fuck are they doing with Malachi Black, man? Like, after feuding with Cody Rhodes and Pac, they could have at least put him in a feud with Pac, singles feud. But no, they decided to put him with the Varsity Blondes against the Varsity Blondes, feud, feuding with him for no fucking reason. But yeah. Then we got the main event. We got Pinnacle versus CM Punk, Darby Allin, and Sting. Not gonna lie, that was a really great match. But, bro, I really hope MJF is okay. He landed on his fucking neck. When Sting threw him off the ring on top of FTR, like, FTR didn't even catch him that well, and MJF, like, fell front and then landed on the back of his neck. Like, oof. Like, I really hope MJF is okay. But yeah, really great match. Like, the finisher, it was a finisher combination ending for the end of the main event. It was a GTS, a Scorpion Death Drop, and a Coffin Drop to end the match. And they pinned Dax Harwood. But yeah. Hey, Dynamite was actually pretty decent today. And I came back from reviewing because Kyle Riley is in AEW now. So yeah, that's all good. And I'm going to end this video right here. Stay safe and take care.